I'm uh, Ryan Condal, the executive producer and co-creator of Colony. It's so good to see you here at Comic-Con. It's good to be seen. Congratulations on the show. Thank you so much. Now, what's coming up with the upcoming seasons as far as the story arc goes? Uh, so we're going to see a much darker uh, Los Angeles this year than we did in, in season one. Oh, we got a Josh Holloway cameo coming up. There he goes. Um, uh, so we're going to see a much darker uh, story uh, this season. Uh, the, the situation in the block has gotten much more oppressive, and uh, because of the activities of the resistance, the, the government has had to dial up the level of totalitarianism, and with that comes more pain and suffering for the people. Um, and then as a result, the resistance also becomes more extreme as well. So they become more violent and more kind of Al-Qaeda-like in their operations. So um, you're going to see a much you know darker show, and people will realize that, oh, maybe Snyder's reign actually wasn't that bad uh, and uh, we also this year want to dive into more of the science fiction elements and really expand out the world and uh, tell people more about the larger world as a whole and what it looks like now and more about the invaders and who they are why they're here what they need what they're capable of uh, those kind of things so I think you're gonna see a much more much darker more sci-fi heavy season in season two now, as the story goes on, you guys already have it written out for the rest of the season. Are you incorporating anything about what's going on in our current uh, news cycle? Not intentionally. I think when you make specific um, allegories like that, it you know it, it kind of uh, makes it uh, limited in terms of its vision and scope. Um, but you know, we have a 300-foot wall surrounding our city, and our bad guys are called Red Hats. So, and all of that stuff was plotted out two years before our, our current mess. So, um, no, I think uh, you know, I think we always talk about things. And we talk about current events and news, and certainly the coup in Turkey, you know, came up in the room, and we talked about that and implications and what that looks like and how it affects the show. But in terms of making specific references to things, we're definitely not doing that because we want the show to be evergreen. And when people find it on Netflix or you know their Oculus Rift or whatever in 15 years, we want it to feel like a, a show that has timely themes. I mean, you watch Blade Runner today and it still applies, like it's still resonant. And, and uh, you know, I, we can, it's my favorite movie, but we can only hope to ascend to, to such a level. But that's what good sci-fi is. I think it stays alive and, you know, continues to, the messages that it discusses are relevant in the time. And then in, in 30 years, they, they're relevant because, for another reason, right? Yes, that sounds really good. It's a great show. Thank you. I'm so happy you guys joined the USA family. Yeah. And thank you again for talking with me. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.